Okay, hey guys. guys. Uh, today is going to be slightly different video, so I'm not going to be going into all blah blah blah. We've got a problems with our van. Our van is past MOT, but we've got the advisory. Um, hose. It's a front and near side uh, brake hose. Brake hose. Currently perforated or yeah so it's worn out so yeah. it needs to be changed as soon as we can but we've got a 2001 vehicle where the base vehicle might even actually be older yeah and to source parts for these older vehicles is at the moment seeming to be quite a hard task yeah so we already tried there a few garages and we come to nothing yeah because every time they order the part part arrives and it's either coupling is wrong fitting or the length of the hose or the length of the hose or either one way or another they're ordering the right part for the through the, the manual through the how manual it should for, be yeah. what is on the on the shelf but it doesn't fit and it doesn't fit so, and we're kind of stuck yeah after three garages they've even contacted Peugeot which we're still waiting to hear back from yeah because actual could, Peugeot in in France, in France yeah. yeah because it could be just a, a um, part which is not available anymore yeah, it's and absolute. there's a more modern version under that part number so, so the we're in a bit of a pickle changed. at the moment and um and then a few days ago we discovered <laughs> something else <laughs> it uh, just a bad luck after bad luck yeah we discovered that our air, air intake, intake hose, hose is cracked, more or less. It's almost detached, it's cracked that yeah, badly. Yeah, that bad. So we're going to show you the video in yeah. a minute so you can see what, what, is it, what it is. It's not a major thing, but I think that's kind of... We've been having a few performance issues. These old vans, they don't like hills anyway. You're normally hoping not to go into the dreaded first gear and hopefully <laughs> stay, above Embarrassing. Ten, stay above 10 miles an hour. I'm not going to be stuck rolling yeah, backwards. Not have to go back down the hill, no. Um, but yeah, she has been kind of surging and kind of not losing behaving. The power, yeah. and losing power and not behaving right. But all the mechanics that checked it said it's perfectly fine. They couldn't yeah. find any reasons why. We but put that for the full service yeah. and it went from the MOT. And every time we said that we've got that issue, it doesn't feel like it's uh, performing a hundred percent. All of them said it's perfectly oh, fine. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> we can't find anything. Okay, so we found it took that. It took us two seconds to see. I would up. presume it's the air leaking through that air hose, and that's where we're losing some power, some power yeah. and performance. So, um, so with both of those factors, we don't really feel safe to go on a long trip and be going on any and, trip, really uh, going on up and down hills and stuff like that with us and the fur babies in the van. Yeah. So, so in case, in case the brakes fail, I don't know if that could happen. Yeah. Well, or because even we don't want to know it's advisory. We don't know how, how long it's going to no. last. How long is a piece of street, yeah. you know? What, what is it going to go off today, three months later, four months later, none of, and nobody know. can tell us. All they do, they, they advise to do it as soon as possible. Yeah. So it is drivable, it's pass, but with advisory. So it's kind of like... Well, and the handbrake doesn't work properly. Yeah, but that is, it's a, it's, an it's a minor, well. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not worried about that. It just, I want to find, so now with the hose, I'm start worrying now. Will we find the right hose for it? Oh God. Yeah, and you don't it want just, to break down in the middle of yeah. nowhere because we do like going to rural so, locations as well. So on that note, guys, our one life adventures will be postponed for the near future. We are working on it, and we're trying to get back on the road as soon as possible because we've got a quite a few big trips booked for this year, and we're looking forward to it and take you with us. But yeah. at the moment, it's all a bit up in the air. So and I'd say we're getting non-van fever at the moment because we want to go out in the van. Yeah, it's, it's something we love doing it, and it's something we really, really enjoy. Um, so it's kind of an, a little bit um, cry for help. So if any of you guys know anyone or anything you're familiar with the maybe mechanical of the older vans or all the auto sleepers, please put the comment and let us know who to get in touch with and what to do. So that'd be really, really appreciated. Mm. So on that note, yep. I don't know. Well, she's going to the doctors at the end of this month. So yeah. So again, <laughs> we will be updating guys so, on the social media, Insta, Facebook yeah. and Twitter. So if you want to know what's happening, please just follow the links. We're going to put them yep, in the description the for our social media is all in the description below. So you can follow us. Um, we update as, as often as we can as we can and yeah. like i said she's going to 
actually to Peugeot, so I'm hoping. <laughs> hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, guys. I don't have to take out another mortgage, <laughs> and <laughs> and hopefully they actually fix all the problems. So it's yeah, not to so... the point of I just want to get all the problems fixed so we can just get back on the road. Yeah, and travel safe and happy. Yeah, and even the dogs are just like they want to go back in the van. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, we're going to finish video here. Yep. Nothing more to say. No. We will be updating you as we go. So, peace, love, be kind, and we will see you very soon. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.